hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the band channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to go a bit further on our um, rainfall data so we have downloaded the rainfall data covering this particular area which is a river state right good so if we want to now extract the rainfall data of some specific points that are within that area so we have um, some some points within a study area and then perhaps you know yours might not be as uh, many as this yours can be maybe four three maybe two ten or as the case may be but as is a bit many so we have some points within our study area so we want to now extract the rainfall data of those specific points inside or within that our study area as they fall on what on the raster data that we have downloaded and you know most of the times the data are um, presented in excel right good so if you're trying to study for five years and then you start from 2019 you can move down to 2023 if you are trying to study for 10 years so you now arrange them on those different columns so now let's see how we proceed the first term um, on our layers panel here we have the average we don't actually need the average we only need what the rainfall data of what these other years right good from 2019 down to 2023 so to extract that we come to the um point sampling tool it's actually a plugin if it's not installed you come to your plugins and then manage and install and then you install it right good so let's um, bring it up and whenever you want to use um, this point sampling tool you ensure that all the data that you need they are all um, highlighted right good and then if you don't need a particular data you just turn it off so that's one of the reasons why we turned off what's the average because we don't need it now when you come to the layer containing the sample points the layer containing the sample points are actually what we have as points because those are our points of interest and then we have what layers with bands slash with fields slash bands to get values from now we want to get the values from 2019 20 20 21 22 and 2023 so you see that what they are all um they are all active right good so it's actually very important that you keep them active so we select all of them good so we have highlighted all of them and then the layer containing the sample point is this right good then for the output um, point vector layer we browse good so we are on a folder of choice we call it um, under rainfall we call it um, extract now the data type you have about three types here the geo packages csv and then shape files right because now let's go with csv because we can assess that on excel and then let's call this um, the rainfall data so we have um, the rainfall data saved as what or to be saved as um, a csv file and then we click on save having um, fixed all of those parameters we can click on ok good the new layer has been added to the map we can just close this now we would have to assess this on excel okay so we have it here rainfall data good so we have what the outputted data to be this and then you can see that um, we have the coordinates of the points we have and then most importantly we now have what the rainfall data for the different years now the unit is actually in millimeter or it's usually in millimeter so if we want to convert these values to meters we can just decide to create what empty cells after each of the years so we just um, do something like this insert and then we finally what insert right good so we can now see 2019 in meters because if we want to present it we usually would want to present it in meters if you want to anyway so we still come further to say 2023 in meters your unit can be in brackets just to uh, make it a bit more presentable so we come back to 2021 in what in meters and then finally 2020 in meters right good and again the arrangement is a bit haphazard 
you should have 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, right? So, but because of him, um, the order we have it here, not well arranged, that's how it was, it appeared. So, these are some things you need to check out. Now, since this is in millimeters and then you want to convert it to meters, just click on the cell equal to this value divided by 1000, right? Good. So, it actually converts the value you have here to its equivalent in what in meters so you can just um autofill when you autofill the other values will be what will automatically be converted so you can do similar stuff for these other years you know just to have the the yearly rainfall data of those points in what in meters right good so this is about five point um five point five or five point four six eight depending on the um there's more places you want to put it if we also come up here, we can have um, this divided by 1000 and then, you know, this will now help you maybe attach to your report to show the rainfall data within your study area. And then you can also see as a form of comparison the amount of rainfall in the different years, right? Good. So you see 2019 is a bit high, 2020 is high, but I think the highest is um, 2019. And then the lowest is about 2023 so you can now draw insight by merely looking at what the data you have here maybe you can also present them in a chat or whatever so the most important thing is that we have shown you that downloading the rainfall data in a raster format you can also extract the values from what that your raster data to um, be presented like this right good and again the units are actually the units you are going to extract from your raster data are mostly in what in millimeters right good so you can decide to convert it to its equivalent in meters by um, rightly dividing by 1000 right good so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have provided solution to this particular surveying and gs related problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye